If you need unlimited domination, clutch time, or anything else grinded, make sure you hit up Rose NBA on Twitter for quick, safe, and reliable grinding services. Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Ruby, Keldon Johnson. So, Keldon Johnson, he had a very, very good performance here just a couple nights ago, or I guess last night. He had, what, something like 25 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, or maybe it's 8 assists, 6 rebounds, 1 steal, 1 block, he knocked down like 5 threes. And I got himself a Ruby Moments card here in my team. Very, very easy grind. If you go down here in a moment, you'll see this Keldon Johnson grind is very simple. It's basically the same as Jalen Brunson's grind from a few days ago. You just have to match his stat line with 25 points in a game. Um, one block, one steal, eight assists, six rebounds, and five threes shooting better than 50% from three in a game. You don't have to do all of these in the same game. You just have to complete each one in a specific game. Not going to be accumulating it over multiple games. But very, very easy grind for this Keldon Johnson card. He looks like a very, very solid budget card in my team. So he is a six foot six small forward or power forward option. Definitely going to be better at the small forward position. Being only six six, 89 offense, 84 defense, 90 driving layup, 94, or I'm sorry, 90 close shot, 80 mid range, 88 three pointer, 90 free throw 80 um driving dunk even a 65 standing dunk that's actually kind of nice he'll be able to stand dunk pretty consistently which is good a little bit of a low ball handling is a little bit annoying uh 70 block 70 steel isn't great but 85 perimeter 83 interior is very very solid 84 speed and excel with an 82 speed of ball and an 85 lateral quickness as well looks like a solid budget card for sure a guy who's going to be easy to grind he's a ruby he should be good for limited and things like that um also has 17 gold badges 15 silvers and two bronzes so a pretty good amount of badges on the card. Uh, he's got gold giant slayer, pro touch, slithery, amped, blinders, catch and shoot, claymore, corner specialist, green machine, guard up, slippery, off ball, volume shooter, break starter, chase down arts, off ball, pest, pogo stick, and workhorse. Also silver, fast twitch, fearless finisher, clutch shooter, dead eye, bailout, killer combos, mismatch, expert, needle threader, special delivery, unpluckable, ankle braces, challenger, clamps, menace, and post lockdown. Silver, I'm sorry, gold, bronze acrobat, and bronze bully. I can't speak. Uh, in terms of badges that you can actually add to the card, I wouldn't really recommend putting a lot of badges on a ruby, but you could add badges like rise up if you want that'll be good for his standing dunk um dimer potentially or quick first step i'd probably go with uh probably pick dodger quick first step and rise up for me personally would be the three main badges i would look to add to the card if i was going to badge up kelton johnson but looks like a really solid budget card at the three so kelton johnson here in freestyle he's got the uh damian lillard moving crossover which means that he's got this really really annoying drag back which is very annoying the only way to consistently trigger a drag back with him is going to be just to do the drag back without holding down right trigger but that makes it harder to trigger consistently you can't spam it out of that when you do that so it's kind of annoying but it is what it is size is pretty good uh without quick first step though he does not move very well does not have a great dribble style i'm not sure what dribble style the card has but it's not great and his release is actually pretty good though i will say that catch and shoot should be pretty solid he's gonna be a decent slasher he's got a uh, 65 standing dunk which means he's gonna be able to get those standing dunks as well and his driving dunk animations look pretty solid um so i feel like in game he's going to be a pretty solid card wish he could drag back without having to hold the left left stick down to complete the drag back into being slow like that but release looks pretty good he's got nice versatile defense being a good perimeter and interior defender and he's got the normal fade i think or at least i think that's the normal fade so uh no that is not the normal fade but it's a similar looking fade to the normal fade I, why did i just make a I just made a white that's crazy but it's actually a pretty good fade it's not normal but it's honestly pretty good it just still creates a lot of space fading in the direction that you do fade and um yeah it's, it should be pretty easy to green as well so i think this Kelton johnson card looks like a pretty solid budget card obviously he's only a ruby so you can't really expect anything too crazy but gonna be a great card for limited for no money spent players things like that so let's hop into a game and see what Kelton johnson can do all right hopping into this game didn't really get a good look at my opponent's team but it looks like he's got Jaden ivy at the one paulo at the five uh is that lebron at the four i think so he's got a decent little budget squad but not a great team as i was not paying attention to the shot clock and we get a shot clock violation here on that first possession so that's gonna actually count as a turnover for Keldon, which is kind of annoying but it is what it is let's get on the defensive end we're gonna put him on ball against Jaden ivy see what he can do defensively like i said his defensive stats are pretty solid on the perimeter and the interior which is very very nice uh allows him to be a pretty versatile defender at the small forward position stopping and popping immediately Keldon johnson gonna knock down an easy mid-range give us quick two points on the game like i said a little bit of a low block ball handling he's not going to be you can't expect this card to be a true god squad level level player is what i'll say like he's not going to be creating his shown shot at a super high level things like that but he has the capability to be a very very solid budget card a versatile all-around card who can shoot at a high level create just a little bit and um maybe even uh play a lot of like really solid defense things like that so welcome back again Kelvin johnson for three that's a tough shot 31 percent. i thought i might have been able to green it wasn't quite able to green it there but great defense by Kelvin playing that lane beautifully able to get a nice little steal and we're gonna throw the ball right back over to him drag him back with Kelvin. see if we can get ourselves a little fade oh not gonna be able to get a fade maybe we can get a blow by jay Ivey. you're a little bit small he's a little boy good pass out to james worthy james worthy for the midi and i smoked it good board though Kelvin. yes sir baby and he gets the little mash i like that nice little offensive rebound able to board 
boarded over Jaden Ivey and put it back in. Uh, solid start to the game for Kelvin Johnson with four points and two rebounds already. Uh, let's see if we can play some defense. Good D. Get through. Beautiful. Uh, hedge from the corner. Nice. Recover back. And we're right there. That's great defense. And he's going to. No, he does not get the board. I was worried he was going to get the board. But he did not wind up getting the board. Kelvin Johnson stopping. Uh, oh, I can't do the freaking drag back unless I let go of right trigger, which is kind of annoying. But fade in here. Yes, sir. Kelvin. Okay, Kelvin. You're gassed. And he still greens the fade to the corner. Beautiful stuff. Quick seven points. Able to green that fade. I know it's not normal fade. But whatever fade he's He's got it definitely creates a good amount of separation and is pretty easy to green so i think whatever fade he's got is a very very solid fade uh in this game good defense as well it's gonna be another easy stop and we're pushing the ball in transition again kelton johnson popping out i almost could have shot that potentially uh we're gonna shoot this one instead he's gonna walk back i knew it i knew he was gonna do that he walked tried to walk back into the screen we stop and pop with kelton johnson and he's got himself 10 points on the game and sharp shooting takeover card is absolutely balling out right now all right, let's get another pick and pop going here with Kelden. He's got himself sharpshooting takeover, so we're going to see if we can create... What in the... I did not even mean to shoot that. I tap my X button. He goes up. That's going to hurt his shooting percentage for absolutely no reason. I didn't even mean to shoot the ball. That's annoying, but it is what it is. Get a little contest here. That's a tough shot. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a 50% contest. contest. I got, I'm got. i shocked I got a heavy contest on that. Kelden, oh, he's tired. Oh, my. He got a slow release there for no reason again, but he does... He is playing defense. Couple of questionable shots there. Uh, one was a good shot that we just got a bad release on. One was a bad shot, but he is still kind of hooping that's a tough shot too okay i'm killing a shooting percentage all of a sudden with what i'm seeing but he has two steals 10 points two rebounds still playing very very well uh stay right up on him good d yep good d oh we don't have to foul there it's fine um we're good though minute 18 left in the game we're in control i would say uh let's see if we can close it out strong i've taken like three bad shots in a row which is not what you love to see on the offensive end of the court but we're gonna see if we can get him in a little pick and roll here maybe get him a lob or something like that attack the rim slip for me kelton kelton johnson slip into the rim beautiful yes oh look at the standing duck love to see that little bit of a rim hang there just for a second as well stun on him a little bit but y'all see what kelton johnson's getting into in this game man the standing dunk ability as well is so nice that's one of the things that i think is what very underrated in this in this game is that standing dunk because uh that allows you to get off a lot more dunks standing under the rim things like that than you're going to be able to get with a guy who just has a high driving dunk and no standing dunk so kelton johnson having the versatility to do both is very very nice as a budget card um but nice little pick and pop here again kelton pops out beautiful Hopefully blow by yes sir paul pierce can't stick with you yes sir kelton 14 points two rebounds a very very good performance for i mean a very very solid budget card like this guy is a very very solid card in my team cheap or not cheap he's totally free actually very easy to grind and a very very good card i'm really impressed with kelton johnson is giving me this game and let's finish it off with another wide open three green light 17 points kelton johnson's a baller all right, dribbling out the clock here. It looks like we're going to come out of here with a 20 to 9 win. Very, very easy W. Kelton Johnson literally scored every point for the team as well. I took a couple of bad shots, but 20 points, two rebounds, two steals, eight of 13, and four of nine from three. I launched like three bad threes as well, but he knocked down some very good shots, played some solid defense, just did a lot of things well on the basketball court. I really liked what I saw out of this Kelton Johnson card as a slasher, a shooter, even a shot creator for himself, and a very solid defender as well. So let's hop back to the main menu and let's review this Kelton Johnson card. All right, in conclusion, Kelton Johnson, while he may not be a top-tier small forward in the game, he just doesn't have the versatility as a playmaker especially, I feel like, to be that top-tier small forward. He's a really solid card, smooth release, plays very solid all-around defense on the interior and the perimeter, good rebounder, can stand and dunk, all those things. He's a very, very solid budget card in my team, the type of guy who I'm glad to have because I feel like I can throw him into my lineups in the future for limited and things like that as a really, really good ruby card, one of the best, if not the best ruby cards in the game right now. So for the guy who's a super easy grind, literally took me like 20 to 30 minutes i think this kelton johnson really easy card to pick up very solid option for a no money spent squad or limited things like that definitely worth picking up even if he's not going to make your god squad in nba 2k23 my team so hopefully you all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace